so what had happened was remember me telling you guys about making sure that you didn't accidentally do the um the little sockets wrong yeah i did one wrong so a week later i now have all 10 of my socket's ready to go, so I can continue working on this project. So my project that was going to take a day is now a day and a week. And again, I'll put the links for where you can buy these because you can't just go down to Home Depot and get them. <clears throat> so today we're going to work on um, cutting the holes in our lids so that way uh, we can actually put these little guys in and start working on finishing this up and putting it together. So that's what we're going to do. A couple of things that need to make sure that we're doing. One is getting your hole saw to the right size. So you do have to make sure and kind of take a look at um, the size of the socket, make sure that you've got the whole saw the right size. And you have to do this anyway because you have to give, um, you have to give a way for hot air to escape the mason jars. So we need to screw a couple of holes in the tops of the lids. And the dual purpose for that is if you've ever used a hole saw, this thing will just take off with you if it's not held down tight. and again getting back to am i strong enough to hold this thing in place and use this tool this uh, hole saw no so we had to come up with a, a more innovative way to hold this thing down and it's dual purpose so you absolutely need your handy dandy little screwdriver phillips head screwdriver a couple of fairly small nails so you know you don't want huge holes in the top but you need enough to make sure that the air can get out get you a little board that's a throwaway board because we're gonna have to drill into it and I've got three of these guys stacked together so you don't have to do them individually one by one by one you can do them three at a time <coughs> Pick a place on the side. Whoop. <laughs> okay. Oh, goodness. And yes, you kind of have to hold them down. So, this is the fun part. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. I think that's going to be on one of those. This is not how to do it. I'll try this again. See if I can hold this dude down. So you have to hold it pretty tight. Wasn't holding it tight enough, evidently. Push. Hard. Okay, lesson learned. Hold down real hard. So, alrighty, and then same thing, other side. Push down. Of course, you don't have to push down as hard now because you've already got the one side. There we go. And again, the main idea, poke a couple of holes and make this dude so that it's not going to spin around on you. You need to start at least a guide for these hole saws or else they're going to travel all over the place. So I've got one of these. Just 
just to start a hole. Something that it can grab hold of. Alright, so there's a little indention now. And again, Take it kind of slow. Mm, not a hundred percent sure that's all the way through. All right, that looks pretty good. Meow. Screw out. Screw out. Guess what I did not do? Put your safety glasses on. Could have had anything fly up in my eye from that little exercise. And bada. That's what happens when you walk away from this for a week. You get kind of out of sync. Gloves first. Goggles second. Tools third. Oops. Didn't say I was perfect. Got your little nets on your sockets. Stick that guy through. Put your net on. And just like that, you're all set. You have to pull the wire through, obviously. Show you what it looks like. All put together. There's that. And then you're going to screw your little. There you go. You now have a light. Bada. didn't show you this before. I want to make sure that the flat part of the net goes on. Obviously it's kind of that way so that it will help this stay on. Oh my goodness. Really? Again with the, why does everything got to be so hard? Okay. That's the last two. I'm going to put those on and we're going to wire it up. That's the old lady happy dance in case you didn't know. Sorry.